wabunge viongozi wa chuo hiki waheshimiwa wananchi kutoka sekta mbalimbali waheshimiwa wanafunzi yangu pia itakuwa mafupi sitting here listening to all of you i fully appreciate the depth and level of knowledge kwa watu wetu kila mtu ameeleza hapa yale wanafanya ile challenges iko na hata wengine wametoa proposed solutions kwa ile tunataka inji haiwezi kukua bila focus kwa micro na macro economics micro ni ile yetu ya chini ya bottom up macro ni ile kubwa ya kule juu na mara mingi micro ndiye na sustain inji nimeuliza kule kwa senate mara mingi wakati covid imeingia serikali ikatoa shilingi karibu bilioni moja kwa sekta ya tourism na mimi nimeuliza maswali mara mbili tatu hiyo pesa bilioni moja ule ndugu aliongea hapa wa sekta ya mahoteli na mikahawa ni pesa ngapi kati ya hiyo ilifika Meru ilifika e, Nyeri ilifika Bungoma ilifika wapi We have a government ambayo nafikiri tourism means big hotels lakini ni hizi mikahawa ndogo ndogo zino sustain economy yetu Ukulima katika Kenya hii farming and farming related activities in i employ 82% of our workforce lakini hakuna mtu anaangalia wakati ule wa zamani meru ilikuwa inajulikana kwa kahawa and that's why tulikuwa na wazee wa kahawa kama Jack Kimbui kina Henry Kinywa na wengine leo Kenya kwanza tunataka kurudi chini na kuhakikisha ya kwamba every effort by a citizen of Kenya ina maana kwa ule mwananchi na kwa serikali na kwa nchi yetu ile ushuru tunalipa lazima irudi chini kuwapa motisha na kuwasaidia ku grow value addition vile tumesema itapewa kipao mbele na mambo yote ambayo inatakana kufanywa nataka kuongezea one or two things na hii wanasikia kila mahali synchronization ya operations account governments na national government tuchukue sekta ya boda boda for example kijana wa boda boda akiwa mpaka wa Tarakanithi na Meru analipa ushuru Meru akiingia tu Tarakanithi lazima alipe tena we need to deal with that so that we don't overtax our citizens Tunataka kuhakikisha ya kamba mwananchi anapata haki ya jasho yake. Na hii serikali yetu anayokuja kwa sababu tumekuwa hapa Meru for three days. This is the third day. Na sina tashwishi yoyote ya kwamba hii safari tumechukua na wale wapinzani wetu they have no ideas. They spend a lot of energy insulting us and saying all manner of things. Sisi tumekuja kwenu sio kuwaambia kuwasikiza. Na tumewasikiza kwa makini sana tumerecord notes tukirudi kwa backroom na wataalamu wetu wa tunaenda kurekebisha na kuboresha yale wamesema wamefanya kutokana na yale mmesema. I want to assure you fellow Kenyans that Kenya kwanza means business. And the business we mean is that nobody will be left behind. Tutasunguka na kutembea na kila mtu in the path to prosperity. Tunataka ku encourage wa Kenya wote to embrace savings. Kama unapata shilingi 500 kwa siku ukisave 100, hiyo si pesa ya serikali ni yako. 
and it can be handy at the right time na biashara itaendelea vizuri kila mtu awe na furaha awe na raha awe anajiweza kulinda familia yake na kujilinda mwenyewe jambo langu la mwisho ni kuwaambia ndugu zetu hapa Meru hii safari tulio nayo sio ya sisi wana Kenya kwanza peke yetu ni ya sisi zote na ni forum kama hizi ndizo zinaboresha our thinking ya kwamba what we thought we knew we can even do better because a good idea will always give way to a better idea and the better ideas we have put on the table zitasaidia sana because a country that is so rich like Kenya but having people that are so poor cannot be proud among nations lazima tuhakikishe where families were 10 years ago cannot be where families will be today and will not be another 10 years kwa hivyo asante sana kwa yale maono yenu mazuri yote and they are going to make not only a difference for meru but we will pick some of these ideas and improve them and replicate them in other places so that we can move with everybody sasa ni wakati wangu wa kumuita senator franklin linturi senator wenu aje naye asungumuze ili tumalize twende